you guys and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, I am going. My nose is bleeding, by the way. <laughs> yeah, guys, in today's video, my nose is bleeding. Okay, that's it. See you next time. Anyways, I know my eyeliner looks horrid. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make my thumbnails. I gave you guys a video like tutorial a while ago, and I don't do that anymore because I am so spicy. So. I probably should have waited to make my thumbnail that I made yesterday for my video to do this, but I didn't, suckers. Okay, I have my Chromebook, my trusted, beloved little Chromebook right here. I'm gonna show you guys how I make my thumbnails. It's actually really simple, like 15 minute process, 20 minutes probably at most. So first, um, what I usually do, the first step of making my thumbnails is I go through the whole video and i find cute photos that i can cut down easily to, to have a main subject in the photo um so i can i'm going to show you guys some um footage right here of me cutting it down or like of me searching for photos that have a main subject um in the video i mean in the photo because i feel like Having that main subject is key because you can't really show the full photo if you're going to have multiple photos showing, like, if you're going to have multiple sh photos representing the video. So you kind of need to have one main subject to focus on. And then what I do is after I get those subjects, like, all after I choose to probably um, two to, uh, like, at least two two at most five photos i would say like two to five photos um i go and i take them and put them in the visco app i think it's where visco girls came from but it's it was originally an app it's just a photo editing app and it has so many nice filters that you can put on your photos you can reduce them like there's obviously other apps to this but i prefer using visco because i've heard so much about it i recently downloaded it and it's actually been like a lifesaver because if i had to find these filters myself on like a different app it would have been so much harder obviously this video is not sponsored because i have like 40 subscribers but yeah i totally recommend visco that's what i've been using so i'm just gonna show you guys how i edit uh my photos on here there's a bunch of different options i can voice crack i can use let me turn my computer more towards you so it looks like i'm that's terrible so um yeah basically i take my photo and there's so many filters you can i mean like there's so many presets um some people have created their own presets and you can like download them and like pay for them i personally have not done that because i don't have any money i don't have a job so maybe when i get a job i'll start looking into that and then you can like filter your presets you can do all presets featured popular i like doing popular because it usually means that they're good filters or like presets or whatever um and then you can also um adjust it after you've done it so the highest you can go is 12.0 and the lowest is just zero so there's not not even a point in doing it so yeah and personally i don't like to do my edit my photos like too extreme because i still want them to look at, like they're from the actual video not like i put a filter on them to make them look so much like better and cooler so I try to make them look similar um and then a cool thing that visco does is i don't know if it'll do this to everyone's camera roll but when it saves it to my camera roll it puts it right after the original photo even if there was other photos after it which is super helpful because i can i like comparing them side to side and being like oh so this is the change and like i made it darker like i had i made it have more contrast so yeah that's just my preference but i love doing that and we're screen recording um also guys i have this adorable little mouse it is boba and then when you're about to click on something it's a little cat drinking the boba anyways i'm showing you guys how i make my thumbnail so obviously i use google slides because why would we be on here if we weren't using her um i feel like google slides is so 
easy because it's free, obviously, and I feel like anyone can use it, and it is just so freaking fun to do. Like, Google Slides is so fun to use, super easy. Okay, um, so the first thing I do on Google Slides is I make sure it's in the middle, so I click this one right here. It's just the center one, and they're already centered. And that was the chair, y'all. Um, and then I make it go, see, look at this, you need to hear her? Um, and then I go make it go in the middle because if it's at the bottom, then why is she doing that? Yes, she's a she, besties. Um, so you just wanna click middle and then it'll make them be in the middle. So once I've done that, I change it to a font I like. Okay, I like Comfort. I think that's cute. So, I usually make my text black or white depending on what the, the theme is. So, I'm just going to title this Thumbnail Example. Um, also, guys, these photos are from my most recent videos. So, make sure to um, watch that video after this. Um, yeah, just click on the channel and you can watch my most recent video. And then I... Oops. I write my name so y'all know it's from me. Usually I like to have another slide. Then I upload files. Click on all the photos that I edited. So basically I just sent these to myself in Gmail. And then I downloaded the them. And then I sized them down so they all fit on one little thing. There's only one picture I use for the real thumbnail for this video, um, and it's this one, but yeah. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to start cropping it down to make it look, be a certain, like, length. Because then when I do this, I can make it like that, and that's cute. <laughs> on I think I'm going to delete that photo I think that makes it so much easier and I just think it'll be nicer you know and then what I like to do is I draw little lines here Achievers, so we don't stop there, guys. Mm -mm. We take it one step further, and we put all the excuse me. We put all the ingredients together. So I copy this page. You guys can do this on the same page, but I like to do is copy it. Control C. Then I click on the page. See how it's highlighted in yellow, and I click backspace, which is delete or delete button depending on what your computer is. Then you can click Control V. Right click it, so take your two fingers, click, there we go, or you can click on um, a mouse, right side, click order, and then click send to back. Once you are done with that, I, you can decide what color to make your text. Um, usually depending on what the background is, I like to do it like the same little color scheme. I don't know if that's what you would call it, but that's what I like to call it. So, stufu. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm being mean. I'm being mean. Okay. Um, yeah. I've definitely made better thumbnails, but I didn't want to use the same pictures so I don't think that was my best thumbnail making but you can look back at my other videos um the only other two that I've actually used this um tactic with so for my school morning routine video you can see 
those um i used the photos from that video um and it looks a lot like it looks a lot nicer 